Tonight is an event that has to be treated as something special simply because it's the first time, I guess. But after 39 days, Kamala Harris is sitting down for her first interview. It's pre-taped. It, she will have a partner there to catch uh, what she does wrong. But uh, what should we expect to hear from Comrade Kamala? Well, you know, Dr. Gina, nothing screams a strong woman, an independent woman, like a woman that has to have a pre-taped interview with a man sitting by her side. So yes, I saw I your tweet about that. You were like, nothing says, yes, queen, you've got this power woman like you have. That was a great, I retweeted that. that was exactly. Um, and you guys have watched me for the past four years stand out in this scorching fire of the media and handle it on my own and by myself. So I don't think Kamala Harris, uh, well, she's clearly proven as vice president, she's not capable of leading the country. She's not capable of standing on the world stage against our enemies and protecting America. And she's proving it with her very first interview with CNN that has to be pre-taped with her little uh, communist comrade sidekick at her side, who happens to be a white man, right? I mean, it just goes against everything the Democrats are claiming. But here's the reality, Dr. Gina. They're here in my home state of Georgia uh, today, yesterday and today, because Georgia's number one on the list for the Democrats. Our state is the state they want to take more than any other state in this country. I am well aware of that, and I have been yelling and screaming about it for several years now. It's important to them not only for 2024, but also 2026 and 2028, where we have governor's uh, race, um, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, and our two Senate seats come back on the ballot in the next two years after this one. So they're, the Democrats are laying critical groundwork that's even more important than just this presidential cycle. And they're playing the game well. They're not stupid. Never underestimate the Democrats in their ground game.